it's Miriam Ortiz Pino here. Um, just can you believe it? It is time to streamline our holidays. It's already here. This year is flying by and um, I'm super excited to share some of my best streamline your holiday tips today. Um, but before we get started, um, I want to remind you that there's lots of free resources also available over at the website, morethanorganized.net. And um, there's a full blog post about what I'm talking about here today as well um, at morethanorganized.net slash streamline your holidays for even more in-depth tips than, than what I'm going to have time to talk about here today. So check that out uh, if you get a chance. And um, other than that, let's get started. Number one thing I see people doing a little bit wrong about the holiday time, and that is dealing with all the shoulds. Um, I should be more perfect. I should decorate more. I should go to more parties. I should be able to pull this off. I should be able to get more gifts for my kids. I should be able to do this and that and the other. And instead, it's much easier and less stressful if we define our holiday for ourselves. So stop living in a world where you're pleasing everybody else. It's possible to please people and still have a stress-free holiday. So think about it from your perspective first. What would you like your holidays to be? Think about that. Um, most people just kind of default and go through the holidays doing what everyone else is doing and not really stop and think about what would make it special for them. So once you kind of sit down and figure that out, and in addition, figure out what, what's going on with your family um, as well. What do they want? What do they expect? Um, and, and navigate that. Um, I had an instance with, uh, within my own family where I'm, I'm a minimalist, so I rarely buy gifts. I don't expect gifts. I don't like getting them per se. Um, I like spending time with people and I like experiences. But when my niece and nephew came along, my brother got a little bit upset that I wasn't buying the kids gifts. So I've compromised. They each get one special thought from me um, and get to spend a whole bunch of time with me. But I didn't know that it was a problem for my brother until the third year when he got pretty upset at me. So make sure you communicate to make sure your definition matches the rest of the people in the family and figure out where the compromises can be made. Um, all right. So spend a little bit of time defining, exploring, getting rid of the shoulds, doing what you want to do that's going to make your life less stressful because the holidays should be a magical, special time, not a stressed out, um, chaotic time. So figure out what you can do to make it special. If you're um, going to give gifts, how do you make sure you get the right ones? If you're not going to give gifts, what can you do instead? Um, do you have to do everything or just a couple really special rituals or um, traditions that that make it great for you guys? Starting with Thanksgiving and all the way through New Year's, you know, how much effort do you want to put into it versus how much just hanging out and chilling do you want to do? How much time do you want to spend outside instead of in the mall? How um, what's a couple little traditions that mean something just to you and your family that that you can do and it doesn't matter what else uh, the rest of the world thinks about it. Think of those kinds of things. Do you sing? Do you bake? Do you cook together? Do you play football in the front lawn? What is your thing? Um, and I realize I just said a whole bunch of things that are in all the movies. So <laughs> it doesn't have to be any of those things. All right. Just make it special for you. Um, and instead of thinking about all the extra things that you need to take care of during the holiday, think of um, ways to make what you were going to do anyway special. So instead of thinking, oh, I have to cook all different recipes in addition to the food I make anyway, why not just pick a couple nights each week to make a little bit more special what you're already doing? Or instead of setting the table with all your reindeer plates and linens and changing out the candles and making a centerpiece and all that, what if you just used your regular dishes and changed the candles out to red and added one uh, point set it to the table, you know, something really simple instead of over the top extravagant all the time and changing it out a lot. Why not just pick the regular dishes and you change out the colors of the linens or something like that. So it's simple, but uh, and and regular, 
but up a notch, up leveled, changed out just a little bit, not different, just up leveled. So it, it can make it a whole lot easier if you think of it that way. Um, instead of going um, on special trips to get all the food for the special dinner, just add it to your shopping list while you're at the store anyway um, and pick up the gift wrap while you're already at the store doing something else or pick up the music when you're, you're um, uh, or plan the playlist when you're, you're working on your, your workout list for the week anyway. So you just add a little bit extra to the things you're doing already and it eliminates a bunch of the stress. You don't have to go over the top, just a little bit extra, a little boost. Um, at the same time, you wanna plan for the extra clutter of the holidays. A lot of people have whole rooms or parts of rooms displaced when they put up a tree or decorate. What do you do with all that stuff you move to make room for the Christmas day for? Is it all now piled up in the guest room or in a big heap in the garage? Have you moved all the papers off the dining room table into the office and so they're in the way? You have to do a little bit of planning about that extra clutter that comes in. Um, not to mention if guests arrive and you have a little bit of extra food, you have a little bit of extra laundry, you have a little bit extra. Um, so instead of making it tons extra, again, try to build it into your routine and have a plan of if I move this to put up the tree, where am I going to keep it in the meantime? How am I going to easily repeat the process in the opposite way, reset the system on the other end of the holidays? You're always going to have a little more. There's packaging. There's the new gifts. Where are those things going to go? Where Every time you buy a new gift um, or a new piece of decor for the holiday, where are you going to keep it? Um, I was just at, at the hardware store yesterday, and I realized that um, – the lawn, the blow up lawn things are getting larger and larger when this little kid went, look, it's giant. Um, and I suddenly thought, well, that takes up a lot of room for storage. I wonder where they're going to keep it after the holiday. So think those things through before you make those purchases. If you buy the extra garland that has the decor already on it and the lights already mixed in it, where are you going to store that? It takes up a little bit more room than just a string of lights. Um, so just think through those kinds of things. And the gift wrap. What are you going to do with all the little bits and pieces of gift wrap afterwards? Are you going to save them and reuse them? If you do that, that's great, but that means you don't need to buy new gift wrap this year, right? If that's the plan. <laughs> um, so think those things through just because there's going to be a little extra clutter and you don't want the clutter causing the stress, okay? So keep again, if you keep it simple and think through just a little boost to things, some of these clutter and storage issues aren't as big a deal, but sometimes they are. So just keep that in mind. Um, the other thing that can really help with the holidays is remembering that repetition makes things easier. So if you redecorate in a different style every single year, or you try a different location for all your decorations every single year, or if you put the people coming to visit in different rooms every single year, or you put away everything different, like stop reinventing the wheel. Just do it the same way every year. It becomes easier, faster, more efficient when you do it in the same way. I always make the same kind of cookies on the same day every single year and everybody expects them. And if I don't do it, everyone's all upset. Um, but because I do the same ones all the time, I know exactly where the pans are. I know exactly which order to put the ingredients in to make it as fast as possible. I know exactly what order to and about how long things take. So I can plan it really well um, and it, feels really easy and special instead of stressful and um, extra and too much and over the top. So think about that. If you put the lights on your fence in the same way every year, it should take just a few minutes. I can decorate my fence in about uh, 15 minutes. Um, and that's because I've done it the same way for the last six years in a row. I know exactly where to put the plug, where to put the twist ties, where to put the, or the cable ties, where to hook everything up so it, it it's basically just kind of stringing it up. No extra work involved. I've wrapped it up from when I took it down last year in the same way. So I unwrap it and reverse the process to put it up and it's real fast. So think in terms of that as well. If you always put the same kind of tableau on your mantelpiece, just do that every year. You're only looking at it for a few weeks and then you're taking it down. So it looks fresh next year anyway. Um, think about that though. How can you create the repetition that can become the ritual that becomes the tradition and then everyone expects it and enjoys it and you can get help with it later because they know what to do and what to expect. Okay, so just to reiterate, let's keep it simple. 
what can you do to make the connections the most important part of the holiday instead of the shopping and the hoopla? What if it was just the personal connections and relating to each other and having fun with family and friends? Doesn't that sound better and nicer and the true meaning of the holiday season rather than running around and buying things all the time and more and going out to this event and that event and rushing, rushing, rushing? That doesn't sound very exciting at all. I think keeping it simple makes for a much better holiday. Um, so do that. And my number one tip for keeping things simple in the holiday is to avoid shopping this week at all costs. <laughs> um, it is Thanksgiving week. And if you avoid Black Friday and well, I'm kind of a fan of small business Saturday, although it doesn't have to be that Saturday. You can shop small businesses later in the week um, and still get the the same support of the local businesses if you want. Um, Cyber Monday, you know, just shop in the off times if you have to shop at all. There is no reason for that kind of frantic energy to be introduced into your holiday. All right, thanks for dropping by again. I will see you next week. And in the meantime, don't forget to check out morethanorganized.net and have a happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>